Hey guys, welcome back and welcome if you're new and today welcome to another fun pregnancy update with me. Um, this, for those of you who are new, I am pregnant with our third baby and so I've been doing a bunch of different updates through this pregnancy so if you're interested in any of the previous ones, um, you can check those out on my channel. But um, anyway, so I'm excited to do another one. It's been a hot minute since I did one of these. And I try to do one once a month, but every once in a while it gets, you know, more than a month or whatever. So time gets away from me, but I'm finally doing another one for y'all. You guys seem to really like these, so I like doing these. So let's go ahead and jump right into this update. Alright, so let's go ahead and I'm going to recap just a little bit from last update. Um, because that will tie into this one. But last time I was saying that I was measuring really big for the weeks along I was, or how I was measuring big for how far along I was. And um, that is still the case, but um, I had told you guys that I was gonna go in and get an ultrasound to make sure and confirm whether it is twins or not. And so um, anyway, that's we talked about that. Uh, my midwife was slightly concerned that I was measuring so big. And so I went ahead and got that done and I'll tell you what the results were here. Um, just stay tuned, I promise I'll tell you. But um, I kind of talked about that and then I had reached the halfway mark and all this stuff. And you know, I've also like realized that I'm hearing the third trimester already, which is crazy. But um, those are just some, those are the big things that I talked about last, um, last update. I was talked about like, Braxton Hicks are starting to get more and more frequent and um, just a lot more movement from baby and pregnancy is just, all the symptoms are just getting, you know, more and more frequent and just very obvious that I'm so pregnant and all these things. So that's what we talked about last update. So now we come to this update, which is the current update. Um, so I'm going to go, let's go ahead and just jump into what you're all wondering. Is it twins? Is it twins? No. Um, so we confirmed <laughs> through the ultrasound that it is not twins. And I have to say I was slightly disappointed. Um, I love the thought of twins. I know that that would be a ton of work, don't get me wrong. But like the thought of having two babies like just sounds so cool. And I, I would love to have twins one day and I have no doubt in my mind that I will one day. Um, so anyway, there aren't twins in there. I am still measuring big. My midwife said that it is due to uh, have an over excess amount of fluid. And so a lot of amniotic fluid and that can totally be normal, um, especially for third pregnancies. And I'm just, I'm popping out sooner, which is also normal for subsequent pregnancies after your first and second. And um, so there's that. The, I am definitely measuring really big and I'm really glad I did get an ultrasound because, you know, that's just gonna be something we're always looking for um, because of my history with having twins in my family. So we'll always be, if I ever measure big, we'll always be thinking along the lines of needing an ultrasound. Um, so anyway, it's not twins, just a lot of fluid. Baby's got a lot of room in there apparently. Um, and no, baby's not super big, measuring right on track. Um, granted, ultrasounds can be wrong in a lot of like how they size the baby and stuff. But anyway, not pregnant with twins. <laughs> so I found that out, I believe on week 22, or no, I was 23 weeks along when I found out. So that was two weeks ago. And so, which is actually almost three weeks ago now. So we've known for a while. And if you, if you're, if you're on my social media platform, like uh, Instagram, you know for sure that I've, you know, you knew a while ago that I wasn't pregnant with twins. But um, I wanna update my YouTube friends who aren't on Instagram. Um, but yeah, anyway, not twins. Anyway, ultrasound went really well. Baby's doing great. Um, I have, I mean, everything looks great. Baby is growing perfectly fine, right on schedule, which probably means I will have, I'm hoping, a closer, a baby closer to do the baby's due date. I had the weirdest dream yesterday. I know I'm kind of rambling on, but like I had this dream that the baby was like born a week late or a week early and I also dreamed that it was like a boy and a girl. It wasn't twins, but like 
at one point I thought it was a boy and then at one point I thought it was a girl so that just kind of confirms that I really have no idea what I'm having um but anyway so yeah at uh, week 23 um that's when we found out week 22 was when I actually was filming the last update and everything nothing happened there that was worth mentioning but week 23 we had the ultrasound made sure everything was all good and um I also had a midwife appointment that week and she said that's when she told me that I had a lot of fluid and I was I was measuring really high I was measuring like I want to say it was like 23 weeks and I was measuring like 27 ish centimeters um, so that's really big for me for past pregnancies I've never measured that big so it was definitely interesting but all pregnancies are different guys that's just the way it is and so um, anyway yeah I'll, the midwife appointment went well I'm looking really good as far as health goes baby's doing great um, let's see, and then after, let's see, week 24 last week was great, nothing happened that was crazy different. Um, baby's just growing and kicking and moving and is starting to respond to the world outside. So I've noticed baby really likes music when the kids are running around near my belly or talking right next to me, the baby tends to like react and um, is really kind of cool. It just makes it more real and um, like, oh, there's really a baby in there. <laughs> Not that I don't know that, but anyway. I am having a lot more Braxton Hicks and that's totally normal, especially as you have more kids. Um, my uterus is just really starting to get ready to have this baby, which is great. And um, they're practice contractions, guys, and they're there for a reason. And so they've started a lot more frequently. Um, obviously they're not like timed minutes apart because they're just here hit and miss. But um, those have definitely picked up. But yeah, so anyway, I'm 25 weeks now and so far the week's been going great. Um, nothing crazy again. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm very tired. And I said that through my whole pregnancy, but it's true. And I am finally, like this week, I have realized that I have less than three weeks till my third trimester. <sighs> oh my goodness. I feel like the second trimester has just blown by. And um, again, they say that that's definitely a third baby. Well, you know, a thing is you have more kids just goes by faster and faster. And that's totally true. And so anyway, all right. But I think that's all I'm gonna update you guys on. And now let's go ahead and I'll show you the bump. somebody on my Instagram comment on like are you like you know in month eight or nine and I'm like yeah no try six try month six <laughs> and I mean who knows this person probably didn't know a whole lot about pregnancy so but it was funny I was like no six months but you know borderlining seventh month here but not not eight or nine. <laughs> oh my gosh I am starting to really crave going into labor, like wanting to go through that whole process again. I know I might be really weird and some women I know are weird like me. I'm sure not everyone, like I know a lot of people don't crave the labor part. <laughs> I love it. I love going through the process of birth. I know it can be painful, but I love going through like the process of birth. Like it's so cool. Like you're bringing a new life into the world. So anyway, I just thought that was and I'm super excited. I'm way behind on preparing for this kid, but um, that's okay. I have two other kids to take care of, and um, I have a lot going on. All good stuff, but you know, you know, when you when you have other kids, you have a husband, a household to take care of, two children running around. Things get kind of crazy, and you're pregnant, so I'm already exhausted. 
from making this journal and making sure I, you know, do enough nutrition stuff. But that's another thing in this, like, it's hit me that I really need to exercise more. I feel I'm just so busy all the time. How do any of you pregnant ladies, like, find the time who have more kid, more than one kid, like, find the time to exercise? Like, I just, it's very difficult. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna keep trying. I'm gonna keep trying. Lots of squats, lots of kegels, lots of stuff. Anyway, but I'm trying to get that herbal red raspberry leaf tea down so that, you know, it helps with the labor part. <laughs> um, anyway, so I think that's all. Um, I don't think I'm forgetting anything. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this little update. Let me know if you did in the comments. I would love to know. And if you're pregnant, please let me know in the comment section. I'd love to congratulate you and figure out and just talk to you about your pregnancy journey. Sometimes it's fun just to talk to other moms who are doing the same thing you are. So anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great one. Bye.